backstage with no love. Cody Garbrandt, Cody A. Huge victory over Thomas Almeida tonight. Immediate KO in that first round, just like you predicted. What did you and your team see in order for you to say throughout the week, I'm going to knock him out in the first round? Um, my teammates believe in me, and I believe myself. You know, the power that I have, and not even the really power that I have. I think when fighters get in there with me, it's the power when I hit him, but the speed. You know, his defense was really up. He usually, you know, comes forward. He wasn't coming forward, uh, so we knew we had a, he's a slow starter. We had to get on him fast and uh, take him out in the first round. You were not only able to knock him out, but you, you as they say, pieced him up throughout that fight. Um, when he got up, he had marks all over his face. Um, was that an easier task than you maybe thought it would be? Um, no, I knew I was going to knock him out, like I said, in the first round. I knew that he had a ch suspect chin. Um, he's, he's, like I said, he's a phenomenal work. Four fight night bonuses, taking nothing from him. I wanted to fight him, but I knew stylistically that was a great win for me. I knew I was going to knock him out. Um, I knew I was going to exploit his weaknesses with my boxing and his, his style. So I uh, just got out there and worked all this all came with my coaches and teammate and went out there and performed and got the win. There was tensions between you and Team Alpha Male and Team Shootbox and Thomas Almeida. Yeah. Um, do you feel like that's all gone now? It's all gone for me. It was it was never a problem. Like I'm a fighter, you know, and he's a fighter, and, and we're both undefeated, so we don't want to lose. I understood that, you know, the hostility and, and the anger and, and wanting to go out there and, and represent your team and your country. You know, he's coming from Brazil. I'm coming from I'm, you know you're American. So uh, it's definitely going to be heated. And, and when you get in there and you're all at the hotel together, you got shooter box flags flying everywhere, and you got the Brazilian fans, which are loyal. I love them. But uh, he's coming to my home uh, home country, and I know I was going to knock him out. You know, this was a huge victory because he was 21 and 0. He had a very high ranking. Um, there was a fight earlier on the card between Brian Caraway and Aljamain Sterling. Caraway was able to take away that win. Dominic Cruz versus Uriah Faber is yep. next week. Rafael Sinsal versus TJ Dillashaw in UFC 200. All big bantamweight bouts. If the UFC called you and said, hey, Cody, where do you want to fight? What do you say? I would definitely say Cleveland UFC 203 against whoever. Whoever's going to get me uh, to that title shot or whatever. That's what I want. I'll be the one to be the best in the world and get that world championship. All right. So looking forward to seeing what they match you up with next. Congratulations on a huge victory. Thank you, Megan. Thanks.